Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again today. Um, today I am doing a special collaboration with the very talented Fiona from Fiona Art. Um, now, if you don't know who Fiona is, I'll be surprised because she does the amazing um, flower dips um, where she puts a bunch of colors on and then will dip another canvas on top or she uses plastic wrap and she ends up with the most beautiful flower patterns I've ever seen. Now, she makes it look so easy, but I tried her technique um, a couple of days ago and I put the video up a couple of videos back probably and if you saw it, you'll see that I failed miserably at her technique. Although my end result was really nice because I ended up, you know, dragging the canvas around in the paint but I, I could not achieve the dip in that she does with her flowers. So I don't know how she does it. I'm gonna have to try it again. But anywho, um, she's super awesome with that stuff. So if you don't know who she is, check out the links below where I have her link posted to her video and then also um, her channel. So I've been talking to Fiona and we decided to collaborate together and so we decided to do a Dutch pour. Um, so what we decided is to do it with, as you can tell, a black background. Now I've never done black. I've done all white and then I did once, I did it with a blue background. It turned out okay, um, but I've never actually tried black. So we agreed that we would do um, a black negative space Dutch pour. So, Let's get started. I have a, what is this, 10 by 10? 10 by 10 or eight by eight? Let me see. Yeah, I think it's a 10 by 10. Yes, it's a 10 by 10 canvas. I've already gone ahead and put my black down. So what I have is the Artist Flow Acrylic Flow Black. And I just mixed it in oh, with some Floetrol. And I just mixed it in this cup here. And then I added a touch of water just so that I can make it very fluid, very liquidy, because it has to be on the thinner side, not on the thicker side. And then my colors tonight, I've decided to go all metallic. So that's what I've decided. And so the colors are Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And then I have Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. And then I have this, which is a Sapphire, which is a metallic. Uh, and that's by Folk Art. And then I have Iridescent, what is that, yellow green? No, green yellow by Studio Acrylics. Let me see, got the glare going, there you go. And last but not least, I have Iridescent Green Blue by Studio Acrylics. Now, those don't say that they're metallic, however, they definitely have uh, the metallic shine to them. So I'm gonna try this out and see what happens. I hope it turns out nice because I really love all these colors. So we'll give it a go and see what happens. Let me grab a paper towel. All right. So I'm going to start with the metallic cobalt blue. And we'll start with a puddle here in the center. All right. And then my paints, I've also just put um, Floetrol, just a bit of Floetrol, then paint, and then a few drops of water just to get them to a fluid consistency, like a thin consistency. So that's it. All right, so let's go with the purple. All right, and now the sapphire blue. All right, and the iridescent green yellow. I love this color, it's just so bright. I hope it doesn't get lost. All right, and last but not least, the iridescent green blue. All right, so there's the colors I'm going to now put my layer of black around. I 
I hope this works. I really do. All right. There we go. And now I'm going to pop all the bubbles. All right. Just see some of the canvas here. There we go. This canvas I had, um, <laughs> you don't want to see what was under the black. I had tried a cloud pour and failed miserably. Um, Cause you know, we don't always make things perfect. I do fail from time to time. And it was so bad, so I'm, I covered it. I'm done with it. All right, so let's see what happens here, guys. We'll blow it over and then blow it back. Let's hope this works. All right. I hope this looks cool when I'm done. All right, let's blow it back. Well, that's pretty cool actually. Now I'm gonna blow it and just kind of spread it all out here. Whoop. All right. Ooh, there's some, I see, I think the green ends up kind of turning into like a gold kind of color. So it's kind of interesting that it does that. All right, let's just turn this around a bit. Oh, there's the blue. Colors look pretty cool, actually. All right, let's torch it Whoop, and see what happens. See if anything surfaces with the torch. And that torch. All right, let's see. There's some metallic, oh yeah. Definitely see some colors under there hiding. That's really cool, actually. Wow. That's a pretty cool result, actually. And I, you know, once this is dry, I'm actually gonna put, probably gonna end up putting resin on it. Cause the resin will really make the colors pop a lot. It's really cool, actually. I like that. What do you guys think? Like, I mean, I'm so not used to a black background, but it's actually not so bad. It's pretty cool. I like it. Can you see it pretty good? Yeah, you can see it pretty good. The green and the blue here looks pretty cool, actually. I'm just wondering if I like the composition. I'm wondering if I want to mess with the composition. Um, maybe too much blown. And we'll just fix it. <laughs> you can see under, can you see under the previous painting that I did? Yeah, when I tell you it was a disaster, it really was a disaster. All right. So, let's add some black. All right. Fix that. Okay. And then I'm gonna blow some of the black off because there's a lot. I think I like that much better actually. Yep, 
Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, and then maybe I'll do that here as well. Just kind of scrape a little bit off right about here. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Oh yeah, trust me, you do not want to see what was under there. It was hideous, absolutely hideous. It was like the worst painting ever. All right. I like that better too. There. I like that. Let me see. Pop any bubbles that may have been in there. All right, guys. I am going to bring you down for, I guess I could take these off now. I wear, I only wear gloves when I'm doing um, black, when I'm using black, because I tell you, if that stuff gets under your nails, oh my God, it like takes days to come off. It doesn't matter how much you scrub, it's not coming off. So I always wear gloves with black paint. All right, let me show you guys this close up. I think it turned out pretty neat. Fiona, I cannot wait to see what you're up to, hun. I am dying to see what yours um, ends up like. So there you have it, guys. I'm trying to go in without getting that glare. Let's see. I love that there those colors look really cool turned out pretty good i think so i like the black i like white better but the black looks pretty cool too actually so there you have it let me know what you guys think give it a thumbs up thumbs up if you like it and if you're a new watcher um don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and hit the notification bell that way you're notified every time i post new videos don't forget to head on over to Fiona's channel and check out her video and tell her I sent you and say hi to her for me. And uh, let's see what else. I've got all my links to all my social media below. So, you know, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, you know, all that fun stuff and my Amazon shops. So for anyone who wants to know where I buy my torch, my spatula. I got a lot of people asking me, you know, about the stuff I use. Guys, I've got links below. Um, just click if you're from the US or Canada, there's two different links um, for each country. So click on the one where you're from and shop away, guys. And I appreciate all the love and support. And the PayPal link is also below for anyone who would like to donate. So thank you very much, guys. And Fiona, I can't wait to see what you're up to, hun. And have a good night because it's nighttime here. So if you're watching in the daytime, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. So we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye.